So let's talk about the first path of Biden staying in this race. When you and I talked Friday, you mentioned that you were looking for the response of the party elders. The party elders have responded. And publicly, former President Obama said, hey, this was a bad debate night, but Biden's the better option. Former President Bill Clinton said, hey, debate aside, once again, Biden is better than Trump. What do you think of their public responses? <laughs> I mean, I think that the fact that their public responses have been confined to Twitter, have been confined to social media is all you need to know. Neither one of the former presidents is out doing sit downs on the front lines, defending Joe Biden and saying, I know this man, he is up for the job, he can do the job. I've served alongside him, I've had that job, I know what it takes and I know he's up for it. Neither of them are doing it. And now you're starting to hear stories where privately Barack Obama is you know, voicing concerns to, to staff and to others about what this could all mean and if he could win. And so I think, I think the muted response tells you everything. Neither of them are playing sort of a leadership role in ushering Joe Biden off the stage, and they're not playing a leadership role in defending him which also tells you a lot about sort of where the party in general is. There's a real lack of leadership from the top on down, which is why I think you're seeing all of this flailing and infighting start to spill into the press.